You not a lesbian, but your non-lesbian ass is at a lesbian party. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I ain't gonna cap every drunk little everything in me. Come on, growth. Every drunk little immature thing in me was like, say something to her. Say something to her. It was this other girl. I'ma call her Vicky. Vicky. And I'ma call her Vicky. Yeah, her name Vicky. I used to be in a women's ensemble class. You know what I'm saying? La 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 la. Yeah, I was in one of them classes. Do re mi fa so la ti do it ass. Cause at that time, child, we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Why all of us like women? I don't know, but hey, whatever. I just feel like that's the way the universe wanted it to go. But now you like women and you just in a gay club. You just do your little gay thing. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Apologize to me from high school. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I want y'all to know I ain't no cap in my rap. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all already know, by curiously, you know, when things happen on YouTube, you kind of can relate, obviously. Things happen, you can relate to it. You say your little piece on it, you might react to it, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I want to say my little piece or whatever on a situation I went through with this girl, I supposedly thought was my friend right now this is a case where i was being impatient and honestly the way i thought i felt i did not feel it right i was young i wasn't really young okay so what i thought i was feeling i wasn't feeling but um i'm gonna just go ahead and tell the story time um first of all i want y'all to please like comment and subscribe to this video you know what i'm saying make sure y'all stay tuned to everything that i'm bringing to the channel you know what i'm saying um I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for riding with me on this roller coaster. You did. Uh, if you need to lose some weight and you see my background, please hit the DMs or hit the link. You can get ISOT, Nutriburst, whatever you need. You did. So we're going to go ahead and get to this. All right. So, all right. When I, I was young, young, right? I was in middle school. I had a friend. I'm going to call her Red. I had a friend named Red. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was very, very, very advanced early with men or boys or whatever. I was advanced, you know, um, fast child. That's why I'm scared to have kids as well. I know my child gonna be fast, but I was fast. I was a fast ass. And um, at the time, you know what I'm saying? She was asking me for advice. Like, what should I do with him? What should I do with him? You know what I'm saying? So we talking about it, ah, uh ah. -uh. And you know, it was good conversation. She was my friend. She spent the night a couple times, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. So, several years passed by, I realized that I like women, right? Young, uh, I was, I think I was in high school, maybe ninth grade, maybe ninth grade. And um, that is when I started to, I was starting to feel myself like, cause girls were feeling me, you know what I'm saying? They liked my, hair they like my little basketball um, you know what I'm saying? they just like me you know women like me at the time and um girls rather and you know i was doing my thing I, <laughs> I got into the lesbian thing you know what i'm saying i actually had already had sex or whatever with um a girl that i knew you know i've already tried the whole lesbian feel so i knew what i wanted right so one day you know something came to my mind that i was feeling her and to be honest i think that i just wanted to see if i could pull her i'm not even gonna care you know what i'm saying like because because honestly after after i tried to holla at her and after you know clearly she shut me down um I was just thinking like, why did you do that? Like, it was like a thought that came to my head and I went with the thought and I acted on the thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all have crazy thoughts that we go through these days, especially if you eat meat. I mean, it's a lot that goes on out here in this world. So you have a thought that come to your mind and you have to question yourself these days. Like, nigga, like, <laughs> have you ever like something came to your mind? Like, whoa, why would that come to my mind? 
random like I'ma just uh you know do something crazy you know what I'm saying and you won't do it so this day that came to my mind and I did it crazy as hell but um I don't know if I told the story time before but I'ma tell it anyway because it's clearly on the topic right now it's the topic of discussion so one day you know what I'm saying we on the phone we used to talk on the phone all the time and I'm like you know what's up you know chilling I, I, I don't think I ever told her that I like women but I think that day is when I told her you know I like girls you know what I'm saying and my stupid ass told her that I was in love with her this was not a whole like this was not like yo I like you you know what I'm saying I think you cool you know I'm attracted to you it wasn't even that I told her I was in love with her <laughs> got to be the dumbest shit but anyway I told her that and um <laughs> she instantly shut the shit down like what hell nah like I'm not like that, you know what I'm saying? And at the at the time, for me, um, in my era, you know, being gay was, it was starting to be a trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, she like girls, that's my friend, so I'ma like girls. Like, it was, it was really trendy, you know? Um, and I feel like a lot of girls was doing it for a trend. I mean, uh-uh, I love women, <laughs> period. But a lot of women were doing it for a trend. So, at the time, she was like, I'm not, what? Hell, no, I'm not with that. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Hey, right, cool, my fault, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tripping, you know? <laughs> so then, after I told her, y'all, she was no longer my friend. I lost my friend on account of me telling her that I was in love with her. Now, A, she could have figured like, man, she's just tripping. She knows she ain't in love with me. She's trying to speak game. It could have been anything, right? Or or it could have been like, man, hell no. I'm disgusted. I don't ever want to talk to her again. Or how dare her, how, how dare she cross our friendship like that? I don't know. We were kids, so it was immaturity. Right? So, all right, I lost my friend or whatever. So, we adults now, right? So y'all, I hit her. I seen on Instagram one day. And I said, yo. I apologize. I don't. I know I wasn't in love with you at the time. I don't know why I said it, but I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I didn't mean to hinder our friendship or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. You know, I I I, I chucked that up and I hit her up. I put my pride to the side, and that's what I said. You know what I'm saying? She just. She said something to the nature of like, okay. It was some like on the lines. Of, I seen her out in public one day, you know, and I ever said, yo, like, I apologize. <laughs> like, I apologize to you. <laughs> like, you, you like what? You don't accept my apology or something? Girl, no. <laughs> she didn't accept my apology. Like, she looked at me as if I was about to jump on her like a tiger or something. Like, I was about to be like, like you know, like weirdo shit. Like, she was frightened. Okay? Girl, at this point, I am over you. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put my pride to the side. I apologize to you. I ain't did nothing to you. I didn't do nothing to you. I'm sorry. Like, I, I thought I had a little feeling or whatever. I thought I had a little feeling. You know what I'm saying? I guess I, I, I misjudged it. You know what I'm saying? I apologize or whatever. Child, so I went on about my life. Fuck, whatever. So, y'all, yeah, I'm at a day party one day, right? A lesbian day party one day. Okay? We at the spot when I'm in Charlotte. Got an OG. We always got bottles. Period. I just got to throw that in there because we was lit. So, you know what I'm saying? We drinking. We doing our thing. We two step and shit. Bitch, why she walk in the party? Why she walk in the party? Red? Why was you in the party, Red? See, considering that we grown now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you watch my videos. I 
hope you do though. Or at least I hope you watch this one. You know what I'm saying? You not a lesbian, but your non-lesbian ass is at a lesbian party. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I ain't gonna cap every drunk little everything in me. Come on, gross. Every drunk little immature thing in me was like, say something to him. Say something to him. Everything in me wanted to be like, so you cut me off. <laughs> right when we was kids, right? So you cut, this, this party was a couple years ago. Bitch, we was 15, 16 years old. So you cut me off because I told you I was in love with you or whatever, right? But now, you in my area. You get what I'm saying? The place where I could be peaceful, kind of, because it depends on who you got beef with. The place where I could be myself in my own little lesbian way, you are in my area. In this gay place, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With disgust on your face, like. <laughs> and because you acted as if it was just so disgusting that I tried to holler at you. Now call me childish, you know what I'm saying? That was years ago. Maybe she grown. Maybe she's grown and maybe she was in there because she like women now. Who knows? Maybe she was in there because she was with her friends. Cause she was with a couple people. Maybe she's like, girl, I'll go. You know, I ain't gay, but I'll go. Maybe it was one of them situations. But the fact that she acted as if I was an it for so long, and you got the audacity to come up in there with your non-gay ass. I felt some type of way. That's not the only situation I had like that. So y'all know I'm gonna give another story in that story. It was this other girl. I'ma call her Vicky. Vicky. And I'ma call her Vicky. Yeah, her name Vicky. Mm -hmm. So Vicky, I used to be in a women's ensemble class. You know what I'm saying? La 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 la. Yeah, I was in one of them classes. Do re mi fa so la ti do it is. Okay? I'm in one of them classes or whatever. And I'm in there with a whole bunch of girls. Okay? The baddest girls at the school at the time. All of them could sing. All of them, right? Half of them was cheerleaders and shit, right? I had already had an issue with the cheerleaders because the cheerleaders at the time when we was coming out, the basketball girls was coming out and the, the, the cheerleader girls, some of them wasn't gay. They always had something to say about us. Always. You know what I'm saying? Like, scared to change in the locker room. Bitch, I'm not looking at you. I want y'all to know, just because you're a lesbian don't mean you're my type. Some of them was fine, but I already knew I wouldn't be able to talk to either one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all wasn't like that, so I'm not even going to look at you that way. Like, sometimes you'll look at somebody like, ooh, she's pretty, but you keep it moving. If you somebody I see in the locker room and I see at basketball practice and I see all the time, girl, I do not want you. You know what I'm saying? I promise. So, it wasn't just me. It was a bunch of the girls. They, they thought we was looking at them. Like, we was looking at each other. Fuck y'all. We The basketball team was was wanting the basketball team. But anyway, the JV cheerleaders wanted me, though, period. But, um, <laughs> so, you know, she just... <clears throat> She just used to, you know, you do, 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 do. used to do a lot of that. You get this, you get that, da, 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 da. Today, she in a relationship with a lesbian. I be seeing her in the club like. Okay. I be seeing her in the club like when I was in a club like. The gall of you. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all have to bully us? Because we knew who we was. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we didn't know, we didn't know who we was, but we was figuring it out. Right? Because at that time, child, we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Why all of us like women? I don't know, but hey, whatever. I just feel like that's the way the universe wanted it to go. But now you like women and you just in a gay club, you just do your little gay thing. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Apologize to me from high school. Yes, here, high school. Yes. 
<laughs> that ain't the only one. So it's the third one. I'm gonna call her because I never even knew her name. I'm looking at my fan. I'm gonna call her backyard. So one day I used to go to church. You know what I'm saying the house of prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all know about the house of prayer. Hey, listen, I got a house of prayer. I ain't got nothing bad or good to say about it. All right. Shout out to the house of prayer. So I'm in the house of prayer doing my thing. My grandma loved the house of prayer. Right. Now me, I love being outside. I love just being around the house of prayer because it was a bunch of young people. So we outside, we doing our thing or whatever. And this one girl just used to look at me funny all the time. She used to always blah, 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 blah. Had something to say because I was pretty. Didn't know how to walk in heels. I was the tomboy girl that had to wear a skirt, had to wear a dress, had to wear heels. Didn't know how to walk in them or whatever. I just used to get bullied a lot because I was pretty, but wasn't girly enough. So this one girl, you know what I'm saying? You see all the time she used to pop shit to one of her little, uh, one of my other little girls. Which she gay too. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, um, I seen her one day. Y'all, we was a little lit this day. But uh she lit, I'm lit. She said something to me, didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Um she was just I think she was speaking to me. I'm not gonna cap. She no, she asked me, did I used to go to the house of prayer? Yeah, I did. When you see a bully <laughs> that used to pick on you and now you grown and you girl. I'm grown now. Try that shit today. It, I don't care what nobody say. If you see a bully today from when you was a child, that shit gonna always make you feel some type of way. Period. And you're gonna handle it like that because now you know who you are. Like, sis, I was having a I was having a moment at the time, but I'm here. What's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she, she, you know, looking at me funny, whatever. Come and say something to me. Like, did you go to the house I sure did. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. I said, you the one who used to pick on me because I was gay, y'all. That's why I don't drink liquor anymore. You got to drink wine, child, because <laughs> a little tipsy. I'm like, yeah, you the one who used to pick on me because I was gay. She was like, what? Yeah, I was always told if you ever have a bully, don't fear them. You run into the fear like today. That's what life is about in the universe. Come on, message. It's a word. If you have fear with anything, run into that shit. Today, run into that shit. When I used to have little bullies or whatever, this guy told me, old school guy, he said, you got a bully? You know, I told him, yeah, whatever. He said, go to school and punch in the mouth, right? And I said, just punch in the mouth? He said, yeah, but you scared? I said, no. <laughs> he said, well, he said, with fear, you don't run away from it, you run into it. So he said, any bully, if you punch him, you're going to catch him off guard. They ain't going to do shit. Right? <clears throat> I had a couple encounters with some bullies. Uh, but I never really took his advice on that in school today. <laughs> today is a different day. Um, but, you know. I always remember it in the back of my mind. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, child, I never did that. Never died with me. You know, I, I'm working on myself. I'm becoming very mature. You know what I'm saying? You have to work on maturity. You have to grow. At that time, back then, I wasn't afraid of who I would potentially was. Like, I guess I'm a lesbian. I like women. I don't know. I'm looking at them, shit. I guess. When some of them are now gay, but was picking on me for being gay. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because now they following the trend. No. At the time, you like girls too. But you was trying to act as if you didn't. Because you didn't want to be real with who you were. I forgive you. Hell, I don't care. Truth be told, I love <laughs> the skin I'm in. And honestly, after everything that happened, I wouldn't want it another way. Period. I love myself. I love my life. I'm glad I came out when I came out and I'm glad I'm proud of who I am today. And I'm glad that eventually these women decided that they wanted to come out and now they're part of the family. I just hope they children don't bully mine. You know what I'm saying? 
day dry they might get beat up <laughs> but um for real y'all life is about growth elevation you always gotta elevate you always have to learn I always gotta put that pride to the side I feel so much better since I got that off my back you know some of y'all are like damn you gotta glow I know I know I love it baby about to lose 20 more pounds then i'm gonna be fine period okay can't wait i cannot wait i'm about to go in i got a 90 day run royal royal time you know what i'm saying it's going down but um i love y'all so much i appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying um to the new people hey y'all to the uh people that been riding with me thank y'all you know and that's just that on that man Y'all stay tuned for the ride, cause bitch, it's gonna be a long one. You dig? But I'm out of here. I got shit to do. All right.